Hey everyone, welcome to Divine Conversations. My name is Eric. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you are new to the channel, welcome. It is very, very nice to meet you. And if you're returning, welcome back guys. So y'all, we made it. Welcome to 2020. Um, this is exciting. Uh, I just really feel like this is going to be a really exciting year for all of us. Uh, not just an exciting year, but a really a, an exciting decade to come. So congratulations to all of us that made it through the hell that has been the last, I want to say two and a half years. I know for many of us, there was a massive activation that happened in the summer of 2017. I know that's when my activation really happened, <laughs> like big time. And then, you know, 2018, 2019, 2019 especially though, were periods of purging and healing and letting go of things that no longer serve us so that we can create space for that which we truly desire and what we really want in our lives. So welcome to that decade where it seems that this stuff is gonna be coming through. Yeah, I'm really, really excited. And also, I'm very excited for you guys to see the readings for this month, um, for January of 2020. Uh, as I was doing them, you know, they were all ugh, all coming out really great. Even though there were some, you know, challenging parts for certain signs or certain situations, ultimately, though, it's all a good thing. And it's all, um, Spirit is saying, even now, it's a process of healing and... Um, uh, process of healing that is taking place in order for us to really break free from the chains and do what it is we truly desire in our lives yeah so just a few things um i want to mention first if you are interested in getting a personal reading please don't hesitate to email me all of the information is in the description box below um just keep in mind that if you are looking for a private a personal reading your best bet is to just email me first as that's where I'm most likely going to direct you. You can hit me up on Instagram. That one is a pretty good option. I'm, However, I'm going to be asking you for your email address anyway, so you may as well just want to email me if you want to do that. Do not send any inquiries through Facebook. I will not be taking uh, private reading inquiries through Facebook. Yes, that is just not as a reliable source for communication at least in my opinion, as I've experienced moving forward, yeah? Email is always the best, but also Instagram is a good way too. You can find all of that information, the link to my Facebook page, the link to my my Instagram page, and my email address, along with all of the readings that I offer, their descriptions and prices in the description box below, yeah? Um, so for the readings this month, Oracle Guidance is coming again from the Earth Warriors Oracle. I really, really love this deck. This was a gift from one of our subscribers here. Thank you so much, Sam. I really love this deck. Um, and then the readings themselves are structured a little bit differently. First of all, I highly recommend that everybody watches the Capricorn reading as we are in Capricorn season right now, or at least as for the month of January. Um, a very happy birthday to all the Capricorns out there, by the way, and also a very happy birthday to the January Aquarians. Yeah. But um, I do recommend that people do watch the Capricorn reading because even if you don't have Capricorn in your chart, uh, it can give you a good amount of insight as to um, you know what you could expect during Capricorn season. Moving Moving forward, I do think I want to do that more often. I may actually just start doing a reading, a separate reading for the season that we're moving into because I kind of feel like, uh, you know, I don't want you guys' readings to get hijacked when it's supposed to be like, say, for Capricorn, but it turns into a big old collective reading. So that's the way it worked this time. Moving forward, I think I am going to do a separate reading because I think it would be good just to have a general reading just to see what's going on for the collective um, in terms of the different seasons that we're moving into. Also, for the readings, I have now included Jupiter in the situation. And it's funny because for the last like six months of 2019, I was kind of hearing myself say and want to say Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. I just never actually did it. Um, but starting this year, it is a thing. Um, Jupiter is a great way, like say if you're looking in terms of love, if you're looking for like a husband or your like a masculine counterpart, you would look to your Jupiter sign. And conversely, if you were looking for like a wife or a feminine counterpart, you would look to your Venus sign. But also Jupiter is a planet of luck um, and, and finance and fortune and whatnot. And so if you kind of want to see like maybe how your career is going or whatnot, whatever, you might want to look at Jupiter. Yeah. So I just threw that in there. Um, in case you guys were interested, yes. Also, moving on into 2020, my channel is now 
up and eligible for memberships and with memberships come different tiers of perks and whatnot and so over the year of 2020 i am going to be rolling that out i have some planning to do with it i wish i could roll it out you know january 1st it's ready to go but that's really not realistic because i didn't get the email the notification about it until like mid-December when I was actually, I was in the middle of recording the last Twin Flame reading that I did for December, which is a great one. If you haven't seen it yet, absolutely go ahead and watch that. But I got the email during that reading. And so I'm now, I got to take some time to plan and see what I want to do, what kind of perks I want to offer um, and all that kind of stuff. But that is coming. I'm super, super excited about that. Um, I'm going to be going through a whole rebranding process during the month of, or during the year of 2020. So I'm super, super excited to bring you guys more content. And I would, if you're interested in becoming a member, I would highly recommend that you do that because then that's going to provide me with more financial stability in order to devote more time to the channel and to the readings and to you guys. And there are more things that I want to offer, like tarot uh, services, like count, um, uh, counseling services. If you're interested in learning the tarot, um, that might actually be a membership perk that I'll offer, like a you know for members only weekly like tarot masterclass or some something like that. You know what I mean? I mean it's just an idea, but um, if you are interested in membership, I would highly recommend that you consider doing so once it's available, because again, that will allow me more time um, and, to be able to devote. To the channel yes okay guys so i guess that's it i'm gonna stop rambling and let's just get into the reading yeah cool hey there aquarius welcome to your reading for january 2020 thank you so much for tuning in so let's get straight into this aquarius because it's funny i went through one like free shuffle and nothing came out and i instinctively i started saying aquarius ain't talking about shit well then the tower came flying out and i was like well no wonder you ain't you don't want to talk but um aquarius i kind of feel like you uh oh my <laughs> okay my necklace got my bracelet got caught in my necklace um I kind of feel like you don't want to talk about anything because you're putting something to rest here because the rest of what came out, we have death, the queen of swords and the sun, but quite frankly, Aquarius, now keep in mind guys that this is a general reading, so it doesn't have to be this way, but what I feel like is you are the one that you took the initiative here and you maybe spoke some sort of truth with the queen of swords and the sun like that you illuminated something or maybe something uh, was illuminated for you if this isn't you aquarius then this is somebody else i just feel like somebody here took the initiative took the initiative and took it upon themselves to make something very very clear <laughs> to bring something to an end, to bring something to a close with intentions of ending something. And the and the the reason why I feel I kind of feel like me saying Aquarius doesn't want to really does not really want to talk is because I, I kind of feel like that's true. It's like especially with this Queen of Swords energy, it's like something was very final. Uh, like there like this is not up for discussion. This is how it is. This is the truth of the matter. I'm bringing a stop to this. We're done here. Death queen of swords the sun the tower it was quite striking didn't nobody like whomever was on the receiving end of this did not see it coming did not in a million years expect that this would even happen this might be a situation in which somebody finally spoke up for themselves whereas they may have been some sort of a doormat energy in the past um, and I don't mean that in an offensive way I'm just saying what this energy feels like here is someone finally spoke up or somebody finally took the lead somehow or you know brought something to light and man it was not expected like heads probably are still spinning <laughs> you know what i mean and then ultimately on the over uh, underneath the deck you have none other than the ten of swords something was finally brought to an end and it might have been a painstaking process of getting there is what i'm kind of hearing and I guess the strongest resonance I'm feeling here is someone finally decided to step out of that doormat or martyr mentality. 
and said, enough is enough. I've had enough of taking your shit. I have had enough of being your doormat. I have been, I've had enough of being your punching bag. I'm not going to allow this to happen any longer. This could either be you, Aquarius, or it could be someone that you're associated with. Okay. And please do not get caught up on the gender. Just because we have the Queen of Swords here doesn't mean we're talking about a woman or even a feminine energy. What we are talking about, though, is someone that has made their point clear. It's a final decision, and it's not up for discussion. It is what it is. Take it or leave it. You don't like it. There's the door. Don't let it hit you on the way out. Period. Okay? I'm hearing setting the record straight. I y'all. Well... We sure are off to a good start this year, aren't we, Aquarius? Woo! Okay. <laughs> All right. I'm going to give this one shuffle. And then we'll see what else we've got here for your month of January 2020. Here we go. Now, this really could be a business situation. Um, and in, in terms of that... Yeah, you know, it might be a situation in which you could face losing your job because now you're, um, you are, you know, speaking up in terms of maybe you're setting the record straight or you're defending yourself against a superior, a boss or whatnot, whatever. And, you know, I'm hearing insubordination. So, okay, fine. But like at this point, if it means that you, you keep, you, you, you lose your job, but you retain your integrity, I would say that's a win. You can find another job. And hopefully with this sense of integrity, you'll, you'll be able to align and man, align with and manifest a job that's not going to treat you like dirt, right? <laughs> right. Okay. <laughs> Here we go. Hi, spirit. Please make me a clear channel for all Aquarians, sun, moon, rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for the month of January, 2020. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, Aquarius, I'm giving this five shuffles. Let's see what we've got. One. Two. Three for my Aquarian, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter for the month of January 2020. Four. And five. All right. Here we go. Let's cut the deck. <clears throat> Boop. All right. Overall energy, Aquarius, we're starting you off with the Three of Cups. Well, damn. This feels, this really feels like a celebratory energy. I really feel like whomever is coming out on top here is definitely going to be getting getting together with their friends. Celebration is in order. You finally stood up for yourself. You finally put so-and-so in their place. You finally, you know, set the record straight. We're proud of you. Kudos. If this is not like a group of friends that might be congratulating you or like wanting to celebrate your, your newfound victory, your newfound independence, this is definitely the universe here that's congratulating you. Maybe even like your higher self or whatnot. The other energy that I'm getting with this Three of Cups, though, is some sort of hive mind. And I really do feel like someone... Ha yeah, I'm hearing, I'm also hearing insubordination, but the reason why they're saying that is because now you're defecting. You're in, a, you're, you're in essence, you're taking your power back and you're standing against the hive and you're saying, no, this is not right. This is an injustice. I do not stand for this. None of us should stand for this. And those of you that do stand for this, you, 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 <laughs> it's making me feel a certain type of way. And I don't even want to finish that statement because I'm really not trying to pass judgment on anyone that, you know, maybe, maybe in this collective hive mind consciousness. But mm -mm. okay, underneath the Three of Cups, we do have the Page of Swords. Yeah. So this is really an energy of someone just set the record straight and was real blunt about it. 
I mean, not even trying to be tactful, not even trying to sugarcoat it, not even trying to, maybe it might've come across as a little disrespectful, but it may, but uh, uh, to be quite honest with you, if, if whomever was on the receiving end of this communication feels like it was disrespectful, it's more because they're being triggered and they're being faced with the raw, with their rawness. Like they're like their whole ass is being shown right now. And it's like, how dare you put me on blast like that? And from the other point of view, it's like, how dare you treat me like that? So, I mean, yes, I am hearing one-upmanship. This, this Page of Swords energy, it can get kind of petty. It can. And it might have been a situation in which you were pushed or someone was pushed to the point where they, they, they were petty as all get out. They don't even give a damn anymore. I am not trying to be tactful here. Okay, that's what I'm feeling with this Page of Swords. Underneath that, oh, there's death again. Chains and transformation is, is it's clear. Change and transformation is the result of this. Underneath death, the nine of wands. Yeah, I really do feel like this was a long and arduous process for some of you, but also moving forward, I feel like do, you do not want to give up now. You do not want to, do not, do not back down. You need to stand your ground here. I mean, quite honestly, you, this is, this really is kind of an energy of you made your bed, now you have to lay in it. And it might have, this might be, and, and I don't want that to seem negative, especially for those of you that have, that are receiving some sort of victory here in, in, in defecting. Like if you removing yourself from the hive, if you're removing yourself from some sort of hive, my hive mind mentality, excuse me, and defecting in this way, this absolutely is a victory because you're reclaiming your independence. You're reclaiming your sense of self-worth and autonomy, right? But yes, this is, you made your bed and now you do in fact have to lay in it. You said what you said, you can't take it back now. So there's no point in trying to, to, to you know, run away with your tail between your legs or try and like, you know, uh, you, uh, you have to persevere. You cannot, don't give up now. Okay, but now other, for the other people that are involved, whomever, whomever was on the receiving end of this very blunt communication, they have in fact made their bed and now they need to lay in it, but it's very different for, for them because there's a lot of karma involved. And the more that they perpetuate this, the stronger their karmic flow is gonna get and the more they're going to potentially run up against these people that are like, you have got to be fucking kidding me. Get me, get out of here with that shit. You know what I mean? Because more and more people are waking up, especially moving into 2020. Yes. All right, guys. Ooh, that's intense. Um, I am seeing a work culture. I am seeing a work environment um, and it's not healthy. It is toxic as all get out. Okay just to make that clear. All right, Aquarius, let's get into the rest of your reading here. First set of surrounding, uh, first half, second half of your reading. You could look at this as the first half, second half of your month. Take it however it resonates, okay? First set of surrounding energies for you, Aquarius, in the first half of your reading. You've got the Page of Wands, rediscovering yourself. Uh, uh, also, the Page of Wands is a messenger. Okay, so there's definitely a message that needs to be sent or has been sent, but the strongest thing that I'm getting from this page of wands is understanding yourself, redefining yourself. So this is definitely an energy in which someone is purposefully and consciously taking themselves out of some sort of doormat position or martyr martyrdom position. Okay, redefining yourself getting to know yourself on a different level. I'm also picking up an energy of like, you might be surprised that you're even doing this. Like you didn't even think you had it, let al you had it in you, let alone anybody else thinking that, right? Page of wands is coupled with, ha, the three of wands, excellent. I'm hearing a turnaround of grace. So what I feel like here is by you, um, uh, protecting yourself, sticking up for yourself, re-identifying yourself. It's like you are realigning with a sense of grace that is putting you back on your path and is helping you to bring forward all the things that you truly desire. Like there's definitely going to be some sort of positive karmic payout that could come from you taking this initiative or standing up for yourself getting yourself out of a position in which your back was up against a wall, okay? Very interesting. Second set of surrounding energies for you, Aquarius, in the first half of your reading, you have 
Ah, uh, none other than self-love, the Ace of Cups. But finally accepting this cup of love that the universe has been trying to hand you for the longest time. Honey, we've been trying to get you out of that position for eons and you just didn't want to do it. Well, now you finally accepted it. And this absolutely is a situation in which you can't go back. But why would you want to? Now that you have this understanding, now that you have this realization, now that you have this sense of self-love, why the hell would you ever want to go back to a situation like that? Right? Ace of Cups is coupled with... Oof! Yes, the Ace of Pentacles. You better get it, Aquarius or Crosswatcher, whoever. I don't care. I'm just going to say Aquarius just because it's easier, but whatever. I mean, that's, this self-love is providing you with a new sense of... I'm hearing a new sense of security, and it may not be financial security, especially if you're, uh, you're at, as a result, losing a job, maybe even a home or something out of this. You're, you, might, you might end up losing something physically, but you are gaining the, the physical independence and security within yourself to now recognize and know that you actually can be your own advocate, your own best friend, your own defender, your own guard dog, however you want to describe it. And that actually is a much stronger sense of security than any sort of material possession or, 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 or reality or whatnot that, that, that could ever provide you. Because ultimately, when it comes down to it, material possessions, especially money, they come and go. Come and go, come and go, come and go. I mean, and you never, and you could never know when something's just gonna, like the rug's gonna be ripped out of you or some shit or whatnot, whatever. But if you have that solidness within yourself to say, you know what? I don't care about the external circumstances. I know I got me. I know I'm good. <sighs> You're set for life. Because no matter what the universe or no matter what physical reality will say throws at you, you're still good within you. That's really all you need. Right? Excellent. Your challenge in the first half of your reading here, Aquarius, you've got, oh, the five of cups. All right. Well, you're going to have to, to, look, yes, okay, you're going to, even though this feels good, even though, yeah, you've, you, you've, you've purposefully, like, th overthrown the hive mind, and you've, you've, you've maybe even purposefully spilled those three cups that were, that we all know were toxic to begin with. There's still going to need to be a grieving period. And I'm picking up for some of you that this situation is so toxic that there were certain individuals in this group, if this is like a hive mind mentality, which I really feel like it is, but I'm picking up for some of you specifically that there were some people within your group that you resonated with that may have been, you may have even sat down and key keyed together talking about, oh, fuck this, fuck that, this is wrong, somebody's got to do something, but no one actually had the balls to stand up and say something until you did. And now all of a sudden, these people don't want to know your name. They look at you like you have six heads. They look like you, they, they, they're like, I don't know her. I don't know him. I don't know what they're talking about. I don't feel this way. Excuse me? Weren't we just at the bar two nights ago talking about how this shit is fucked up and something needs to change? And now you want to def now you want to go back on that? But you know what? That's fine. That is just fine. Let them keep drinking the Kool-Aid, honey. Now you're on that detox. And trust me, you're going to be much better than you were before. But yes, you're going to have to grieve a little bit because you're losing friends or you're losing a circumstance or whatever. Or, or you are just got to deal with the fact that you allowed yourself to be in that situation for so damn long, which is another realization that's coming through with this Ace of Cups, right? But now that you have that sense of love, you can perceive of that. And yeah, you're going to have to grieve that a little bit, but allow it to happen. Okay. Five of Cups is coupled with, ooh, the Five of Wands. I told you. Differing of opinion. Now, all of a sudden, these people that were on your side so much are saying they don't, they don't, they don't remember. I don't, did we, did we say that? I don't remember, God, I don't remember saying that. Well, you did. But it's fine. Keep on drinking the Kool-Aid. Now, this Five of Wands also could be your own inner sense of turmoil. You could be in an energy of, it's like, why am I feeling this remorse right now? I should not be so upset. Allow yourself to grieve, okay? It's part of the process. It's part of the healing process. Or this is an energy of how the hell 
did I, did I allow that myself to do that for so long? Don't beat yourself up about it now. Okay. You came to the realization you got out of the situation, or at least you're taking steps to get out of the situation. Don't beat yourself up about it now. Cause that's only going to make your process that much more difficult, right? It's really not worth it in the end. You've learned the lesson. That's the point. You've learned the lesson. That's why you're now able to pull yourself out. Beautiful. Closing message or potential outcome for you, Aquarius, in the first half of your reading, the Eight of Swords. But this is what you're breaking free from. For the longest time, you knew something wasn't right or you knew you had to step up. You knew you had to speak up, whatever. Well, looks like you done did it or you're about to. Eight of Swords is coupled with, oh yes, that Queen of Wands. She is not about to let anybody rock all over her. I'll be damned if you think you're gonna steamroll over me. Honey, try it. I'll burn you so bad you'll need, you'll need, a, skin, you'll need a goddamn skin graft. You'll get so many burns from me. But this is you setting a blaze to the prison that you may have been in straight up and down set that shit on fire honey and let it burn I'm, i swear i've made i've made this reference before and i'm gonna make it again and i do not mean any disrespect for this because this person is someone that i have an immense amount of respect for and i admire she is an idol to me but what i'm seeing in this is when left eye Yup, I don't even have to finish the statement. When left eye set that house on fire. And I bet that bitch stood there and watched it burn and laughed for at least a few minutes before she had to leave the scene, right? <laughs> and let me tell you, I mean no disrespect. That woman was a pioneer. Okay, I, I mean, to this day, I have the greatest amount of love and respect for Left Eye. So me making that reference is not a dig on her and it's definitely not a dig on you. Okay. Woo. All right, Aquarius. Let's get into the second half of your reading here. First set of surrounding energies. You've got the, mm, that seven of wands. I know that's right. You better set your boundaries and you better hold firm to them too. Again. You made your bed and now you gotta lay in it. And I mean that in the absolute best way possible. Okay? Seven of Wands is coupled with the Ace of Damn, and look! Look at where that's, that landed. The Ace of Swords landed on the Ace of Cups, the Ace of Pentacles. One, two, three. One, one, one. You, my friend, are creating your own reality. Welcome to the element of being a master manifester. And that comes with taking control, speaking the truth and see things as they truly are. Not sugarcoating them either is what I heard along with that. But it's this sense of truth, honesty, integrity, and awareness that is helping you to maintain these boundaries that in some cases I'm hearing were so desperately needed, right? Wow, Aquarius, this is amazing. Second set of surrounding energies for you. Oh, there you are, the King of Swords. And it's funny, I just did the Capricorn reading, which I recommend that everybody check out because we are in Capricorn season and I do feel like that energy could resonate for you, whether you have Capricorn in your chart or not as like a major placement, whatever, it doesn't matter. But in that reading, I was saying the King of Swords was like, come on, really? Like, let's look at this objectively. Like, let's see this for what it truly is. Like, let's call a spade a spade here. But Aquarius, this is also you. King of Swords rep is rep represents the archetype of Aquarius. Could be another air sign too, but officially, this is Aquarian energy. The judge, the diplomat, the objective one. Right? King of Swords is coupled with the Ten of Pentacles. And... And you know, what I see here, I, I, the Ten of Pentacles came out and I heard the hive mind mentality again, but I really feel like this is the King of Swords energy is standing up to something that is um, well-established. 
And just because it's well-established doesn't mean it's good or healthy, right? Also doesn't necessarily mean it's bad, but in this situation, mm -mm. someone's got to stand up here. And it might as well be you is what I just heard, right? I mean, uh, okay, great. If, you, if it gets you out of some sort of conformist mentality, then hell yeah, it might as well be you. If it liberates you, then hell yeah, it might as well be you. Also, this Ten of Swords is talking about a lesson learned. Completion of a cycle. Okay? Wow. Your challenge. In the second half of your reading here, Aquarius, you have... Ooh, the Ace of Cups. Now, hold on. Hold up. Skirt. Wait a second. Because I don't know if I like this Ace of... This, this, this Knight of Cups here. Because now this kind of feels like someone... Like, like, like laying it on thick coming in all sticky sweet like oh honey i'm so sorry like blah, 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 blah. get the fuck out of here bye felicia be careful of this energy here guys because now now that you're standing up for yourself and you're in fact calling a spade a spade and you're you're and you're exposing someone for the the con artist they are potentially now that someone's whole ass is showing they want to come in all sticky and sweet and try and make amends now i'm not saying to hold a grudge here but i'm also asking you to peep the game because this is manipulative right Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Knight of Cups is coupled with <clears throat> the lovers. Is this your twin flame? Has your twin flame been gaslighting you? This could be a Gemini. But also... The lover's card here is asking you to choose. Choose where your alliances lie. Are you going to stay true to yourself and maybe accept someone's apology and maybe work on, well, definitely work on forgiving them. But again, forgiving is not for you. It, I'm sorry, it's not for them. It's for you more, more, more so, right? Or are you going to in essence, betray yourself and allow this person to, or these people or this circumstance, whatnot, whatever, to weasel they were, their way back in. The choice is yours. Always has been, always will be. Closing message or potential outcome in the second half of your reading here, Aquarius, you have the Eight of Pentacles. And now what I see here with this Eight of Pentacles is you doing the work to rebuild your life to, 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 to your standards to how you see fit okay that's a good energy i really do see you moving forward from here working very hard to establish yourself in some new sort of way so maybe that is working hard to maintain this new sense of self-love and self-respect and and now that you've like say taken this in initial step and made this first cut to now continue with that work and systematically cut out all of the things that just represent this, right? Finishing what you've started, Eight of Pentacles. That's what I'm feeling here. For some of you, this could be a new business. For some of you, you the, the beauty of all of this, especially if you're losing a job, is now you have the ability to start the job that you really wanted to just start to do the work you really want to do, to go into business for yourself, to start developing your own product, right? Eight of Pentacles is coupled with the Two of Swords, though. Indecisiveness. I'm getting an energy of confusion here. Almost, good God, where the hell do I start? That's all right. You don't have to worry about that. I would recommend with this energy here, this Eight of Pentacles and the Two of Swords, I don't think it's that bad. It really doesn't feel that bad. And honestly, what I really feel like here is necessary is that you take some time. You take some time to go through the grieving process. Five of Cups, Five of Wands is in your challenge in the first half of your reading, right? Take some time to go through the grieving process first, because I feel like just like some other people's heads might be spinning, yours might be spinning too. We didn't get the Seven of Cups here, 
which is good because it means that um, the element of confusion probably isn't too strong, isn't too overbearing. Doesn't mean there isn't some bit of confusion here, but ultimately, I think you need to take some time to allow the dust to settle and to figure out what you want to do next. Unless you don't have that luxury to like really take, you know, to, to really like take some time off and really, really, really like do some deep nurturing of yourself, whatever. Do whatever it is you need to do to remain afloat, okay? Nobody is asking you to completely run yourself into the ground, but you don't have to rush into again, finishing what you've started. You know what I mean? You can, in fact, take some time to allow the dust to settle and figure some things out, okay? All right, Aquarius. All right, Aquarius. All right, here we go. Let's get your Oracle guidance for January 2020. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, and Jupiter. One more shuffle here. Here we go. Ooh, there's two of them. Not that one, this one. Yes, okay. All right, kids. You have card number 30, Panthera, the precious and rare. I love this card, it's so beautiful. But also, I love cat, I mean, I love all animals, but I love big cats and panthers. Mm. Pan I'm the panther is definitely my spirit animal like if i could be any animal it would be a panther absolutely okay here we go panthera the precious and rare our faith and optimism are not meant to make us complacent but rather to encourage us to believe that our action in the world will have a positive and real effect there are situations where your voice, hold on, I want this, I really want this to, there we go. There are situations where your voice, your courage, and your fearless determination are needed. You will make a difference. Cast helplessness or despair aside and find the fighter within. Fight for that which needs defending with all your heart. Do not yield. In a reading, this card says, you have the strength to handle any challenge, even the ones that intimidate you. You may feel that you are alone in the fight sometimes, but there are forces of good in spirit and upon the earth that are fighting with you, supporting you, believing in you, assisting you, and championing your success. In, it may not always feel like it, but you are not in this alone. There is help at hand to uncover a hidden piece of information which will allow truth and justice to prevail. Beautiful, Aquarius. So there you have it. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope that was helpful for you. Again, if you'd like a look into your own personal situation, you can absolutely he email me. Please don't hesitate to do so. All of the information is in the description box below. But with that said, I hope you guys have a fantastic month, and I look forward to connecting with you again for our next reading for the month of February. Yeah? Take care. Mwah! Bye.